Hey everyone, this is John Carrasco with Laguna Tools. Today we'll be going over the setup of the Laguna Rotary Turner. This will work for both the EX and MX CO2 lasers. Today we will be demonstrating it on the EX. Uh, we'll be going over hooking up the rotary turner to your CO2 laser and connecting your computer, your desktop, laptop to the machine to be able to control the rotary turner. All right, so before we get started, we wanna make sure that the CO2 laser is off. Then we're gonna go and mount the rotary turner on the honeycomb table parallel to the gantry. Okay, so next we're gonna disconnect the Y-axis cable and connect the rotary cable into that same port. Okay, so now that we have the rotary turner hooked up to the Y-axis port, we're gonna wanna turn the machine on. The machine's gonna wanna home itself. We're gonna wanna hit escape. Okay, so the next step is gonna be to connect your laptop to your machine to be able to calibrate the rotary turner. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna go through the uh, setup of the rotary turner through Lightburn. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open Lightburn. Once you have Lightburn open, uh, you're gonna wanna go to the top right corner. You're gonna see a couple rollers here. So once you have that set up, uh, rotary turner set up, you're gonna wanna go to enable rotary. So this should be green. And then you wanna set up your steps per rotation. So right now we have it at 4,700 steps per rotation and the roller diameter, which is the diameter of the roller on the rotary turner. Uh, we have it at 2.20000 inches. Uh, so once you have that done, you're gonna wanna hit the test. Once you hit the test. That is gonna be calibrated and now you can click OK. And that'll have your uh, rotary turner set up for your machine on your uh, laptop or desktop, whatever you have. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is calculate the steps per rotation. Uh, what you wanna do first is grab your cup, whatever it is that you're gonna be engraving, masking tape. You're gonna cut a small piece of masking tape. This is gonna be put on the face of that cup you're gonna be engraving. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is draw a line in the middle, center. Once you have that line drawn, you're gonna to wanna to mount that cup on the rotary turner. Make sure that the tape is facing up. We're gonna to wanna to move the laser head right above the tape, if possible, directly by the line. Okay, now we're gonna to wanna to jump back into Lightburn and hit test. So our test was successful, the line or the rotation came back into the line right above the laser head. Uh, if for whatever reason it does not reach that line that you've drawn on that tape, you're gonna wanna add steps per rotation. If it goes past the line, then you're, you're gonna wanna reduce the steps per rotation and it all uh, can be done through the uh, Lightburn software. Okay, so now that we have the rotary turner set up to your laser, to your uh, laptop or desktop, uh, we're gonna wanna click okay and we're ready to run the project. I'm gonna be running a quick file just to show you how the rotary turner works. Uh, we're gonna to go to file, we're gonna to go to import to import the image. We're gonna select the image that we'll be running. It'll come up on your work area. I wanna make sure that my speeds, power, and intervals are set up correctly. I have it at 320. 28% power, that is the 150 watt EX that we'll be running, and the intervals are set at 0 0.090. Uh, once that is set correctly, we go to OK. We go to send to your machine, and we're gonna name the file. Click OK. And we're ready to go.
thank you guys again for watching. Uh, hopefully this video helps with the setup of your rotary trainer on your EX or MX CO2 laser. Uh, if you would like more information on either the rotary trainer or the CO2 lasers, please visit our website or give us a call. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe uh, for any future videos. Uh, once again, my name is John Carrasco. Thank you for watching.